What's up guys, it's Swags, and I got something a little bit funky this time. This is a Honey Badger Claw Serrated, small, small serrated. It's a small serrated. It's not really a small serrated though. This is like a, like a, I'm gonna serrate you. Let's talk about it. <laughs> so look at this super gnarly blade, y'all. It's a hawk bill blade. I'm going to argue this. This is a vulture bill blade. Can you imagine, like, look at that extra little curve in. Oh my gosh. Imagine if a bird really had a beak like this. Like, if a bird comes at me and it looks like that, you see it even has an eyeball. So if it comes at me looking like that, I'm hiding my babies, I'm hiding my knives, I'm running inside. I don't like birds. I really don't like birds in the first place. They're just wretched creatures. I can't stand them. They always poop on my car. Even pet birds, they poop on me. I don't like that. You're gonna, like, fill the top of your head and find stuff up there one too many times. You're gonna be like, I hate birds. I don't hate them, but I have a very big dislike of them. However, a hawkbill blade is one of my favorites and as far as like unique blades. I think they're hilariously fun. Just when you whip things out and you're just like, it looks terrifying. But you know what you can't look terrifying doing? I'm sitting on a stool right now and I can't touch the floor. So I'm just swinging my legs. You can't be tough and swing your legs. I can't help it. I always swing my legs. Like, oh yeah, I'm a tough guy. That's not tough. It's not tough at all. I can't help it. So I'm gonna like hide them up here, put it down. There we go. Now we're all proper. Here's the thing about this knife. This isn't a crazy outworldish knife. Yeah, it has a really cool blade to it, but this is a no nonsense, straight to the point kind of knife. You have, you know, a great little FRN handle. You know, it's got the good jimping that's on the handle and on the back right here on like the thumb ramp. So you have a good feel to it. You have a more jimping right here. Even in here on like the liners where it's a liner lock, you just get a good feel on this knife. There's no, it, it's just great EDC. It's something to have on you all the time. It's small, it fits in your pocket well. And I mean, at the same time, you do get that kind of like cool, I have a hawk bill blade kind of thing going. And it's only, here's the thing, it's only $37. So this is really budget friendly. This is something you can get for as a gift, you know, for Father's Day or Mother's Day because we ladies like some cool stuff too. Just saying, just throwing it out there. But this is a really nice knife. I like the feel of it. I like the way it fits in the hand and I just generally, it's Honey Badger. Honey Badger doesn't care because they literally have something that looks cool but is very, very EDC friendly. So this is something you have all the time. You even have your little nice little ski jump of a, uh, why do I lose my words? Pocket clip, but you have that nice little ski jump. That's something that Something that matters to me is definitely a ski jump. Handles are a big deal to me because that's what that's where your hand is. Why, like, if you have a bad handle, it doesn't matter how nice your blade is, you're not gonna be able to hold on to it, so therefore you kind of lose that. But this is just very EDC friendly. I really like this. I've told y'all a little bit about this already, but let's get a little close and personal and talk about the specs here. So you have a 2.7 inch 8CR13 MOV Hawkbill style blade with serrations and it's a satin finish. It's 0.3, no, it's three millimeters thick. What is wrong with me? It's a manual flipper or a thumb hole opener, but it has ball bearings. So you have a really nice action to this still. And yes, that thumb hole does work. I actually think I might just like the thumb hole better than the flipper itself. It's a liner lock with tan GFN handles, which got that great honeycomb texture to it. And it has a tip up ambidextrous pocket clip. So you put it here or you can put it here. You even have a lanyard hole, but check this out. You could probably use that as a lanyard hole too. Look at that, you can have two lanyards on one. It's six and a quarter inches overall and it's 3.6 inches closed. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like closed up. It's just a nice little, it's not too big, it's not too small, so you got a nice feel to it. And it even has a little honey badger right there too. Honey badger I think is a really good just starter knife place because they're budget friendly, number one. But number two, you have a thumb hole, you have a flipper, so you get to kind of just play with that and mess with it and just do all those fun flipping things. But this particular one, the claw, I probably wouldn't start with because that's a, it's kind of like, it's, it's a little bit of rough of a blade to start with. Can you imagine getting cut with a serrated blade on your first try? Well, just like that's the first thing that bites you, you're gonna be very upset. Serrated blades are just terrible to be bitten by. But Honey Badger all together, I think it's a really great place to start. If you want to get somebody into knives, they have great no-nonsense EDCs that are straight to the point, 
but they give you a little room to kind of practice and play with. I think this knife shape, especially with it being serrated, is, is good for like rope, cutting rope down, um, just kind of more heavy duty cutting with this. Um, I'm seeing I'm like eight times, I'm sorry guys. But grabbing something and then pulling to like, because you kind of get that hook to like pull it out in a sense. I don't really know how to explain that without sounding so dangerous. But definitely for heavy duty cutting. Duty. <laughs> Honey Badger, thank you so much for sending me this awesome little crazy EDC. Man, this thing's so cool. Y'all, tell me what you think about this knife. Beyond just like, oh, do you like it? Do you not like it? Tell me this. Does that not look like an eyeball? And this is like a crazy dinosaur face right there. It's even got like a neck, like a weird neck. That's, sorry, it's really weird, but I think it's fun. If you guys want to see more Honey Badger though, all you gotta do is go to Instagram and go to Honey Badger Knives USA. Man, they have some really nice stuff. Thank you once again, Honey Badger. This is awesome. Thanks for sticking around for another review. This one was a little crazy. I thought it was fun. Um, tell me what you think in the comments about everything. And if you want to see more content, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring it here, right there. Just this guy. Ring it. So that way you are notified every time I upload a video. And you know, if you if you don't care, kind of give this one a thumbs up. Thank you so much, guys. Ready for this? I'm gonna like launch off this thing. Ugh.